The phrase a team player is bandied about quite regularly. In your mind, Carl, what's the definition of a team player? Um, well, that's the, I mean, if I knew the, the exact answer to that, I'd be, I'd be loving life. But um, I don't think there is a one answer. Um, I would have I would have looked back at the sort of latter stages of my career and said I was a very team player, play, team player sort of person, and I did try and do as much as I could. But then I look at the early stages, you know, I wasn't doing a lot of those things, but I still wouldn't put myself down as a non-team player. I was always someone that wanted to do everything they could personally, or you know, trained hard, even if it was for selfish reasons. And I don't think it has to come down to someone that just wants the team to perform because, you know, that that almost you, you, you're just becoming. You could just become part of the furniture if you know. Yeah, you yeah. Don't, abdicate actually, responsibility. You know, yeah, you're almost not adding anything to the team. You're just wanting the team to succeed. You know, you could carry all the bags out to, t- to the tra- to training, or you could yeah. wash the coach's car. You know, these silly, silly things. But yeah. no one's ever done that. I just like to point out. But <laughs> you know, that that necess- just just sort of abdicating responsibility, as you just put it, and facilitating the team to do well is not what it's all about. I think someone that really is truly about the team is. Um, is someone that we've you know we spoke about earlier, someone that can come to bat every single day, do everything they can for them to succeed, force the team on by driving those standards and force your your immediate competition on by driving those standards, but then, if that doesn't go well, still be able to take a seat back and say that was down to me as well, you know, and and something that they have spoken about at Exeter and I'm sure they have at other successful clubs is that when players aren't in your position, for instance, I was a prop. And we had many a conversation where we'd sit down in front of an analysis and we'd, let's say we're going to play um, Leicester Tigers that week and it would be a case of how hard can we play to make Jack Knoll look good, if that makes sense, yeah. or, or someone else look good so that the England selectors could look at him. You know, and for someone like me, I was a bit like, what do you mean? I, I just want to push, you know, I want to push as hard as I can at the scrum and get my, but then he's like, well, you know what, that will help him. That yeah. will make a difference, and that's you know when you start talking about those things out loud and realizing you're actually doing your mate a favour by doing your job better, then yeah, I think that that can really start. I and guess it, it lets you lets you share in his success in a way. You know, I'm not saying I'm punching the air every time he gets selected for England, but it's nice to be nice to think sure. that if you hadn't done that, or if someone your mate hadn't done that, or you hadn't trained hard that week, then it wouldn't have helped out someone. So, so yeah. in essence, it's yeah. doing your job really, really well. Yeah. Not trying to do more than your job. Mm-hmm. In in essence, isn't it? So do your job really well. Don't try and do other people's jobs and try and be the star. Yeah. And also accept that by you doing your job, if that makes someone else look better, that's good for the team. Yeah. I mean, there's loads more. There's loads more ways you can spot. You know, different personalities make up a great squad. I think you can't just have everyone thinking the same. But yeah, there's. That for me is how I would have gone about it, and how I felt it was a good. But I've I've come across many different teammates that I would class as amazing teammates that were very different to me and went about their business slightly differently. But I think the underlying factor is what you've just said is that they all came in and did what they had to do the best, um, or the best of their ability, um, and because of that, you know, great things, great things were able to happen. So yeah, great. Thanks, Carl. Mm-hmm.